That feature made me very hungry. That pork looked very good. Thank you very much to our homegrown department for that lovely feature on Hanover. No, you saw one national hero focused on in that feature. Now let's add the rest of them to the mix. My guests now, Vice President for Women in Film, Sharando Ferrell, and Executive Producer for Jamaica Heroes Modernized, Charles Smart uh, joins us now. Am I right? Or is it Mark Smart? It's Mark Fi Smart. Am I right? Mark? It's Charles Mark Fi Smart, correct. Okay. We have a lot of names. But I <laughs> guess it just means that you're, you know, you're just that big of a man. Um, good morning to you both, and thank you for joining us on Smile this morning. This sounds like a very exciting uh, project. Cher Farrell, let me start with you. Tell us a little bit about the catalyst um, behind this. All right. So, hi, morning. Thank you for having us. Um, in, I think, the last week of February, I jumped on a Zoom call with Charles, and Charles introduced this project to me. He had been working on it for quite a few months before. Um, among other things, he's a, he's a fine artist, and he had repainted or has repainted all the national heroes in color. And so our conversation was, you know, to give them a, a, make them more vibrant, a better representation. And then he wanted to move on to the next phase of the project, which is how I got involved to produce a 10 um, episode docu-series um, on the heroes. And so it was really, it came from his head, his brainchild, and him wanting to push now and find me, you know, um, and since he wanted to film everything out here and me enough out here, then he found me. And so we've been working together since the end of February to kind of put things in place to make this happen. So there is, um, there's so much we could tell about this project, but the intention is to, um, to leave some legacy behind is a, is a, is a four prong project. We're producing music as well. You know, we're producing, um, print collateral and all that kind of stuff. Um, but, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much how, how, how it started. So Charles, this is your baby. Why, why did you want it to be born? No, it's interesting that you repainted. I didn't even think of the fact that the, the renderings that exist of heroes were in black and white. Yes. So all of our heroes are black and white, either sketches or black and white photos, old black and white photos. And when you look at some of the images, people like Nanny and Sam Sharp, you know, you still have those very dull images that don't really give life to who they are. And it's not representative of the significance of the importance of what they contributed um, to Jamaica. So um, repainting them gave, you know, gives us a chance to honor them and to represent them and portray them in a way that is, you know, um, indicative of what they did. So mm -hmm. we can be here as how Jamaican said. Mm -hmm. And so you're, you're building out and scoping the project because at this time, because you think, what? Is it that we as Jamaicans don't celebrate our heroes enough? We don't know enough about them. We don't give them pride of place. Tell me a little bit about that. That's deeper. I think for me, it's about legacy. Um, I, my, my roots are, are based in Jamaica. I was raised in Jamaica, born and raised in Jamaica, but also my dad is Sierra Leone and I have, my great, great grandfather was a national hero in Sierra Leone. And when I figured out oh. that, that shifted my insights, my mind, my heart towards um, collectively as a black community, how we see ourselves and a part of how we see ourselves, how we write about ourselves, how we represent ourselves with art and how we tell our stories. And so when the George Floyd thing happened last year was a really that, I guess, catalyst for this whole moment. And so it led me to Marcus Garvey and his message of empowerment and being able to really take hold of who we are and own it and you know, to empower our independence. And so um, that took me to our heroes. And I said, okay, I did the paintings. How can I take this and make this bigger? And so Charity begins at home. So um, it was a natural fit when I saw the way that our heroes were portrayed, to take it and make it multidimensional yeah. and to tell the story from our perspective. Um, a lot of times the story not told by us. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to tell Jamaicans, they're not just about the heroes as well, because this project also gives us the opportunity to tell the Jamaican story as well. So we can talk about, um, you know, how culturally, um, you know, these heroes, the thing that have contributed, um, impact us while we eat, eat jerk chicken, right? Um, yeah, I just saw some a while ago looking so good. I mean, <laughs> you talk, you talk exactly. about um, uh, exactly. appropriation, Charles and Charando, it's so important that we tell our own story. I hear, I keep hearing you both say wow. that. 
Um, wow. And so I'm, I, I want to talk to you, Sharanda, about the folks who are working on this project. The team is 100% Jamaican. 100% Jamaican. Um, and that was one of the, a part of the initial conversation that Charles and I had. It is important that we tell our own stories. Um, and you know my company, Yardbridge Entertainment, the focus is on how do we own and hone our own stories and use our own people to put it together, you know? Cause it's like people, every people on the outside, they recognize the value in our culture, in of our course. music, in our food, in our everything. And they will come in, you know, um, and they'll take advantage of it. They've done it. You know, they've come in and they've shot documentaries, they've shot television shows, all kind of something. And then you see it on whether the small, medium or big screen. And first of all, them don't sound like we, you know, you hear some weird Nigerian accent that's supposedly um, a Jamaican accent, which I find very insulting. I'm going to take them something very personal. And so a part of this project is um, for us to own with story. We have to tell our own a story. And this is why we actually have the crowdfunding campaign, which I'm sure you're eventually going to get to, but since Meta. Well, um, just, just take it away. Ouch, go like hell. <laughs> <laughs> just do it, girl. You're looking for a million dollars. Is, is about is about yes and it's about unity in the community and the idea is to create a groundswell so that jamaicans can participate in this we cannot complain about other people telling our stories if we are not willing to contribute to telling our own stories and part of the issue we've had before is funding so we're giving jamaicans at home and abroad an opportunity to help us to fund this project right now we're in the phase of planning the first episode which is on nanny and the crowdfunding campaign you will see it above my head right here jamaicanationalviewers.com just jump on there and get some information um and so we are we are aiming for a million dollars us obviously um and that is a is a litany of things that we're going to be able to do with that but more than anything else simone we are going to take control of telling our stories. I mean, I don't know if you can tell me very passionate about that. No, I couldn't tell at all. Um, <laughs> couldn't, uh, yeah, controlling the narrative is important though. So, so Cher, you're part of a team. Um, Charles is also on that team. Uh, I see Jameson Daly, Andre K, uh, Anif White, Yuan Simpson, and Suzanne Dalawar, who's worked um, on a couple of Netflix series. But your advisory board is equally impressive. Professor Vereen Shepard, Dr. Uh, Sonny Sanya Naya, Dr. Clinton Hutton, Oliver Mayer, who's a Jamaica Consul, um, General Southeast USA, and Dr. Carolyn Cooper, CD, and Hugh Dows. I mean, rich, culturally relevant um, individuals that are um, advising this project. Where are you now with it? I hear like you're 30% in. Is that right, Charles? Yes. So we are about 30% in. And, you know, the people that we brought on, what was important at the beginning of the project was I made sure that we had credibility and the information that we're going to provide about the project was going to be legitimate and complete. And so those individuals are guiding us down that path. And so as yes, we're 30% in, we are at the point where we're going to be creating the first episode on Nanny. Mm -hmm. And it's a doc. Um, it's a 10-part docuseries, seven episodes that are going to be about Nanny and to Bustamante, and then two episodes also about Louise Bennett and Bob, Bob Marley. Marley. Right. And so it's going to, and of course, another episode, transitional episode to kind of give people an opportunity to understand heroism and where it comes from. Okay, so, and, and the timeline is that by December of this year, you'll be finished, am I right? Yes, the goal is to get finished by December, and that's why we need the community to come behind us. We want everybody to log on to JamaicanNationalHeroes.com, go to the website, learn about the project, um, and make a pledge. Um, you know, everybody, we have some amazing rewards that we've also created for those that make pledge, pledges, um, you know, puzzles for kids, t-shirts for women, scarves, silk scarves, um, limited edition paintings, the list goes on. You can even be an associate producer with an IMDb reference and oh, credits. very nice, very nice. And then outside of the pledging share, we can also, you want us to get involved by sharing the link, by circulating updated Absolutely. messages, um, and then ambassadorship, which is lovely. Absolutely, absolutely. And Simone, you and I will have a conversation about ambassadorship after this is over. Is huh? it? I will yeah. wait for your call. You have my number. Thank of you very course. much, folks. Exciting project and even more exciting to know that we are the ones driving it. We are controlling the narrative and we will shape um, what it eventually looks like. Um, so we look forward to it happening. There's information at the bottom of the screen, folks. IG at Jamaican National Heroes and the website again, jamaicanationalheroes.com. Come. Thank you very much, folks. Share you and I will speak. Thank you, Charles.
Thank you. Vice President of Women in Film and TV, Sharon O'Farrell, and executive producer of Jamaica Heroes Modernized, Charles Mark Guy Smart. We'll be right back. Other side.